Hello gamers, this is Mike the Zorch, and today I'm playing Legendary Axe for the TurboGrafx-16. This was one of the console's more popular games brought over here, and one of the few that was not directly published by Hudson Soft. This one is actually done by Victor Musical Industries. And the premise of this one, this is a, as you can see from the demo screens playing here. It's a hack and slasher, and you are a warrior trying to save a... You're a warrior trying to save a childhood friend from being sacrificed to an evil cult. You were given the legendary axe, which makes you stronger and gives you special abilities. And let's get into it here. Alright. I haven't played this in a long time. Oh. Okay, there we go. I got hit once. That's fine. If you notice, there's a bar at the top of the screen. If you, uh... I'm losing some health here. Into the concentrate. <laughs> there's a bar at the top of the screen. If you swing your axe too often, you won't get full power from your swings. I used to be a lot better at this. Hmm. Wow, I suck at this. we go. Okay, that gives some... Okay, now you can see it. See that line? Top of the screen? That's the power meter for your axe. And if you swing too much, you will... Oh, got all my health back. If you swing too much, well, you will diminish the strength of your axe. But if you, you know, you do this and you swing, measuring your swings, you'll get full power. And you could pick up those crystals and you will be able to get full power. I mean, really powerful with your axe. If you see now it takes more than just it takes just one hit to take those guys out. Platform jumping on this is um, it's actually surprisingly very good. I'm just sucky at it. <laughs> turbo Graphics did have a built-in uh, turbo switch, like a boom. Oh. Right, get over here. He's stronger. I don't watch out for these guys. Those guys are annoying. This part's harder when you don't have that act at full power. Ah. All right. I did say I wasn't that good at this. Let's see how far I can get. Oh, and they do little tricky things like this, the high power-ups, like that crystal. Ah, oh, this thing. Oh, 
Oh, and this is one of those games that'll hit you with cheap, cheap hits that will knock you back. Got him. Alright, you. Oh, the getting more of them in one spot. That's bad. You don't lose your, well, too much of your axe strength. I'm gonna have to get that back. Oh, wait. There we go. Alright, those things can be annoying. Wait for this moth to go by. They will hit you with cheap tricks like that. these guys there get the idea this is a challenging game this was a very challenging game at the time and and it got very good reviews from electronic gaming monthly and other outlets at the time when this was out it was one as i said it was one of the more popular games for the turbo graphics 16 and one of the harder games for the turbo graphics 16 probably one of their I wouldn't say one of their best, 
but it was um, a game that really showcased the system and that it was that it really was a good system that could really punch at the same level as the NES because it featured, you know, as you can see, visuals that are a little better than what the Nintendo Entertainment System could produce at the time because of the system 16-bit processor, the 16-bit graphics processor. It had an 8-bit main processor, but the gra graphics processor was 16-bit. Anyway, this has been Legendary Axe, one of TurboGrafx-16's more tougher games, more popular games back in the day. I've been Mike DeZorch, and I will see you guys next time.